வணக்கம் அண்டால் நவ் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி செவன் ஆஃப் எக்ஸசைஸ் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஹியர் தே ஆர் ஸ்டேட்டிங் ஃபைண்ட் த வேல்யூ ஆஃப் கே ஸோ தட் த ஃபங்க்ஷன் எஃப் இஸ் கண்டினியூவர்ஸ் அட் த இண்டிகேட்டட் பாயிண்ட் ஹியர் த பாயிண்ட் கிவன் இஸ் டூ ஸோ வில் சி த டொமைன் ஆஃப் த ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வென் வி கன்சிடர் அ ரியல் லைன் கோஸ் அப் டு இன்ஃபினிட்டி ஆன் ரைட் ஹேண்ட் சைட் அண்ட் கோஸ் அப் டு மைனஸ் இன்ஃபினிட்டி ஆன் லெஃப்ட் ஹேண்ட் சைட் and we have we are i'm just representing some integers okay now whenever the values of x are less than or equal to 2 when the value of x equal to 2 and lesser to that in that cases the function will be kx square and when the values of x are greater than 2 we will take the function as 3 function will be 3 again after 2 the function will be a constant function now we have to check for the value of k so that the function is continuous at x equal to 2 so we will assume the function is continuous at 2 if x is continuous at 2 what about the values of k okay we will see that now when to say the function is continuous at 2 okay at x equal to 2 then we have to get left hand limit equal to right hand limit and the limit is equal to the functional value so functional value at 2 now we will calculate the left uh, the functional value at 2 so when x equal to 2 the function will be k x square so f of 2 is equal to k into 2 square which is 4k now we will calculate the left hand limit calculating either one of the limit is okay so now we will calculate the left hand limit in the left hand limit the function is this limit x values will be 2 minus h in the left hand neighborhood here as x tends to 2 when the values of x gets closer to 2 the value of h gets to 0 tends to 0 so limit x tends to 2 from left hand neighborhood k x square limit h tends to 0 k into 2 minus h the whole square now in this case when we substitute x as 0 okay h as 0 we will get k into 2 minus 0 the whole square again we are getting 4k as we have assumed the function is continuous at 2 the left hand limit equal to the functional value now we will calculate right hand limit so in the right hand limit the function is 3 only okay so f of limit x tends to 2 from right hand neighborhood is 3 constant so since the function is continuous this limits are equal to the functional value functional value is 4k so 4k is equal to 3 so k is equal to 3 by 4 is the value of k so that the function will be continuous at x equal to 2 now we will discuss problem number 28 here find the value of k so that the function f is continuous at the indicated point okay now so now we will know the value of k so that the function will be continuous at pi so when we assume a real line we know each radian measure has been mapped with a real real number 1 2 3 so whenever the values of of suppose we have pi here means whenever the values of x less than or equal to pi we have the function as k x plus 1 and when the values of x are greater than pi we have the function as cos x now we will assume the function is continuous when the function is continuous its left hand limit will be equal to right hand limit and 
that is equal to the functional value. So this is equal to the functional value at pi. Okay, now when the value of x is pi, f of pi will be k pi plus 1. k pi plus 1. And we'll calculate its left hand limit. Left hand limit, in left hand limit the elements will be pi minus h where h is a small positive real number. Again here as x tends to pi, h tends to 0. So limit now here limit limit of the function kx plus 1 as x tends to pi from left hand neighborhood. So here we will replace x as pi minus h. So h tends to 0 k pi minus h plus 1. After substituting the limit we will get which is nothing but k pi plus 1. Now we will calculate right hand limit. So in right hand limits the values of x will be pi plus h where again h is a positive real number. So limit x tends to pi where the function is cos x. In the right hand neighborhood of phi, we have the function because once the values of x greater than pi, we will take the function as cos x. So cos x, again here again limit h tends to 0 cos pi plus h. Now we will apply cos a plus b identity, trigonometric identity. So limit h tends to 0 cos a cos I mean cos pi cos h minus sin pi sin h. This is an identity of cos a plus b. Now after substituting limit we will have cos pi and cos 0 minus sin pi sin 0. We know sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1. So we will have this term will vanish. So we will have cos pi. So cos pi. What is cos pi? Cos 0 is 1. Cos pi is minus 1. Minus 1. Now this value. This left right hand limit. Equal to the functional value. K pi plus 1. Right. So we will equate that to K pi plus 1. That is minus 1. So K pi is equal to minus 2 k is equal to minus 2 by pi 